Hello friends, right now I will try to explain how to replace power switch of Adam A5 reference monitor. As you see, this is one of the reference monitor I have. And the next one is uh, here. Now, I simply took it out all these screws here. There are four screws as you see. And also, there is one, there is one uh, socket. You have to take it out simply without damaging it as you see a little bit carefully you should take it out okay and after that there is a shrink here I, I, I have to cut it because uh, otherwise I cannot make this uh, this process as you see so as you this is a normal power switch on off switch right now we will take it out uh, and after that we will replace it after soldering process now we took it out the uh, power switch and it's here this is together with all card and uh, here we got this switch and now we will replace it with the new one by the way, this is very cheap, you can find it in any store, but just you have to be sure that it has to be a 6 amperes and 250 volt AC, okay, it is written here, maybe you can see. Okay, let's firstly replace the power switch with this one and this one, but it's not so easy to take it out because it's glued on as you see it's affixed now we will try to take this uh, gl glued how to take it out I don't know right now okay we will try with a screwdriver uh, I had to take all these glued place as you see here here and here here and after that maybe by using this by pressing from here simply you can take it out slowly by slowly okay now it is all in outside and as you see here is not working only pressed like off part not working but i will put it to the similar one the, the same but it's working okay now we will put this one to here if you want it all the symmetrical like the other one then you can put this power switch uh, on part to the upper one so if I open this one as you see this is powered on so when I press this one it will be powered on also it will be similar before making soldering I will check if the power switch is working correctly firstly I will measure this part as you see there is no noise okay now I will open the power switch and let's check it again as you hear the voice like this it is working after soldering we also inserted again this socket to here and also this hitch ring with a clamp plastic clamp maybe much better okay i put it again so maybe one more i need i also added additional macaron as you see just to prevent accident power ons otherwise it's not a problem i mean if it touch each other it will be directly continuously powered on ADMI 5. This is the final situation after finishing all soldering and macarons and heat rings and so on. We inserted again this socket. So now we will close Edim A5. Now let's check our second Edim uh, Audio A5. Now we put it here 
as you see we will open okay it's open only uh, this display is different as you see there is only one point here but it doesn't matter for me I mean if it is working it's okay let's check also this volume okay it's going down okay this was also working so both of them are working right now I hope this will help you to replace only with maybe less than one dollar this one otherwise it will take at least 60 or 70 US dollar and it is very expensive so I will repeat it again summary as a summary as you see there are four screws here now let's a little bit turn this okay there are four screws firstly we are taking these four screws out and after that there is one socket here carefully we are uh, detaching this socket and after that there's heat shrink this heat shrink you will cut it okay after you cut this heat shrink with soldering you will uh, make separation uh, of this card unit after taking this unit out uh, to, to take it out it is a little bit difficult but not so difficult I mean uh, with a screw driver you can easily clean the, uh, the surroundings of the uh, the previous broken switch and after that you can push it a little bit slightly 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 and after pushing it we are putting the new one after putting the new one we are again uh, we can you can use additional uh, macarons or isolating things uh, not to cause any accidental power on because this is the same phase I mean uh, so then we will clamp uh, the existing uh, heat ring after clamping then we are uh, again uh, inserting the socket here inside then four screws putting this is the result i hope it will help you thank you for watching this video